it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Hi, friends. I'm so excited to set up a cozy book nook for the clubhouse. I just love to curl up with a good story. First, we need a bunch of soft pillows. This is my flower pillow. It makes me feel so bright and cheerful. Next, we need some cozy blankets. I love my super fuzzy blanket. Let's see, we have pillows, Blankets. What else do we need for our cozy book nook? Oh, yes! We need books! I love, love, love books. There's so much we can learn from stories. I have board books, picture books, I even have some big kid chapter books. Once upon a time. Who? Who? It's Holly! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Reading stories, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I love stories so much. Stories are wonderful. It's true. Jesus even told stories, too. Listen to this one. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I was painting this piggy bank, but I got so caught up in reading my Bible, I forgot about it. <laughs> you know, Jesus teaches us the most amazing things, like the story I was just reading in the Bible. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is a story Jesus told to teach us that God loves us no matter what. It's about a dad and his son. The dad had saved a lot of money to give to his son when he was much older. But one day, the son asked his dad to give him all the money right now. And the dad gave it to him. Hmm. The son took the money and went far away from home. Everybody waved to the son. Bye. The son took his dad's money and spent it on everything. He bought fancy clothes, he ate really fancy food, he spent all the money with all his friends. And then, whoops, the money was all gone. Everyone say, all gone. 
all gone. There was no more money. The son didn't know what to do. He didn't have a bed to sleep in or any food to eat. The son was so hungry, he even thought about eating pig food. <gasps> Everyone say, ew! really hungry. The son knew he had made a lot of bad choices. He was so sorry and he wanted to go home, but he didn't know if his dad would let him come home. Since he had nowhere else to go, the son decided to go home. And when his dad saw him coming, he ran to his son and hugged him and threw him a big party to celebrate. The dad was so glad that his son had come back home. The dad loved his son so much. Even though the son had made bad choices and spent all the money. Jesus told this story because he wants to teach us something very important. He wants us to know that God loves us no matter what. I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. The father loved his son, just like God loves me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus told such a great story and taught us that God loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Oh, here's my Bible. The story about the dad and son is right here. I'm going to get all cozy and read it again. Bye! The lost son. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. Hi friends, welcome to January. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and time off with their family. And I hope that you enjoyed the true story of Christmas. The story Jesus told today was about a father and a son. The father had saved a lot of money. Now he saved the money to give to his son when he was much, much older. But one day the son asked him and his, asked him to give him all the money, all the money right then. What do you think that the dad did? Do you think that he gave him all the money? Let me see a thumbs up if you think he gave him all the money. Well, you're right. The dad gave it to him. The son took all of the money. Can you imagine? The son walked and walked and walked and traveled from afar to his home. Once he stopped walking, the son took the dad's money and he spent it on everything. Can you imagine? He spent it on everything. He spent and he spent and he spent. He spent his father's money until it was all gone. Can you say, oh no? Oh no! There was no more money. The son didn't even know what to do. He didn't even have a bed to sleep on, didn't have food to eat. He was so hungry. Well, 
Can you imagine being hungry and not having a place to sleep? The son knew that he had made a lot of bad decisions, right? He was so sorry and he wanted to go home, but he didn't know if his dad would let him come home. Since he had nowhere else to go, he decided to go home. Well, he packed up his bag and he hit the road. What do you think the dad did when he saw him coming? Do you think he was upset? Do you think he was happy? Hmm, what do you think? When his dad saw him coming, he ran to his son and he hugged him. Then he threw a big party to celebrate. Can you say yay? Woohoo! His son is home. That is how his dad felt. He was so glad that his son came home. The dad loved his son so much, even though the son had made some not so good decisions and choices, and he spent all of the money. I am so glad that we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. He teaches us that God loves us no matter what, just like the father loved his son in the story. So this month, when we ask, who teaches you important things? You're gonna say, Jesus teaches me important things. Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches us important things. Very, very good, friends. Well, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. We know that Jesus teaches us important things. Thank you for loving us no matter what. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, this month we are going to be learning so many cool stories. It is story time theme this month. So we are going to hear some incredible stories all month long. But there's something else that we are going to do this month. I'm so excited to tell you. We are starting back our large group worship. Woohoo! Yay! We are going to be starting back all of our worship time together in our large group room. I am so, so excited. We're going to be singing all of the songs that we used to sing. And I know that you'll remember some of those crazy, silly songs that you absolutely love. We are going to be worshiping together and praying together in one big group. And I am so, so excited. And we would love to have you join us we miss you. All right, friends, we will see you soon for amazing, amazing worship experience in person. It has been so much fun, and I love you guys, and you guys are a blessing. Bye! Wow, what a great story, and what a good God we serve. Before we leave, there's just one more thing that Lucy and I need to do. So get your hand or your forehead and bring them close to the screen for your blessing. Friends, you are a blessing and so very loved by God and by your church family. We hope that you have an amazing week. Bye.